voice of Jesus speaking. I ask not only on behalf of these disciples, but also on behalf of those who will believe in me through their word, that they may all be one. Mm -hmm. As you, Father, are in me and I am in you, may they also be in us, so that the world may believe that you have sent me. Uh -huh. The glory that you have given me, I have given them, so that they may be one as we are one. Yes. I in them, you in me. Yes. I in them, hallelujah. You in me, yes. that they may become completely one, so that the world may know that you have sent me and that you have loved them even as you have loved me. Father, I desire that those also whom you have given me may be with me where I am to see my glory, which you have given me because you loved me before the foundation of the world. That they may all be one. Yes so that the world may believe. That they may all be one, so that the world may know that God loves the whole world. And not only by our love, hallelujah, in the church, but the whole world will be impacted by our love in the marketplace, in the voting booth, on the street corner. How about this? At the club and at the party. Right. <laughs> that the whole world may know that we are Christ's disciples. So why, brothers and sisters, is our unity across whatever separates us? Why is our unity such an important and powerful statement to the world about the person and work of Jesus Christ. And why is our unity and our love such a testimony of the love of God? It's incredible because we seem to spend more time as religious people what? defining what our differences are. Yeah. Right, Bishop. Mm -hmm. Real good Presbyterian knows the difference between a Presbyterian and a Methodist. <laughs> and a real good Methodist knows the difference between a Methodist and a Lutheran. Right. Religion by its very nature carries with it a certain sense of privilege. If there's even a sense of theological danger and theological anger and theological violence. Mm -hmm. what? Somebody says, what do you mean? Well, if I am the whatever it is I am, uh -huh. right. I am that because it's right. Oh. Yes. All right. right. Consequently, if you are whatever that is you are, though I may have love for you, Right. And tolerate you. And speak kindly to you and of you. You are really wrong. <laughs> and you won't get right until you get it like I got it. Now, right, right, right. in the Pentecostal church. Yeah, Lord God. And we absolutely, yeah, definitely God. believe yeah. that anybody, anywhere who disagreed with us right. was going to hell. Maybe yeah. you yeah. think about it. Particularly folks like the Presbyterians, Lutherans, anybody hear me? And the Methodists and the Episcopal folk, and those Catholics going to hell in the headmaster. Oh, yeah. We marginally accepted the Baptists. Marginally. Marginally. Yeah. Marginally. Where they were to some degree sanctified Baptists. Yeah. Yeah. But not those cigarette smoking and cigar sucking and lipstick wearing. Jesus, in 
this prayer. Over 2,000 years. It took us 2,000 years Hello. to back off into camps the way that we have. But Jesus prayed for unity. Yes. And he desired to see a deep connection between those who were connected to him, both with each other and with our common God. Hello. Yes, yes, yes. All right. It is intriguing to me, and it's a blessing, a deep blessing to me to know that Jesus prayed for me. How about yes. it? How about it? That, that just blesses me to think that we have in recorded history Jesus praying for a day like this, praying for the day that Soldier of the Truth, that City of Refuge would get together and yeah, yeah, Jesus yeah, yeah. prayed for this. Day. Ah, right, right. That we would know unity. Yes. He said it. And he spoke in John 17 here. And this passage was clearly a reference to the new commandment in John 13, 34 and 35. A new commandment I give you. Uh -huh. Love one another. Love right. 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 As I have loved you, so you must right. love one another. Yeah. Right. For by this one thing uh -huh. shall everyone know that you are my disciples. Right. Right, right. Not because you are a card carrying member of any denomination. Right. That's right. But by this one thing shall all men know that you are my disciples, not by your creeds, by your doctrine, and by the hermeneutic by which you read the text. That's right. By this one thing right. shall all men know that you are my disciples, not even by the text, because he said it before. Christ is talking about here 
is a unity that brings peace within and between persons.